What's up? Yo, actually, could this be a sneak peek into a video? Absolutely. We got the goods. Check it out. Coming, coming to you soon. What are you doing? Are you? What are you doing? Get out what, of my get out doing? of my video. Get out of my video. <laughs> Check it out. We got the S3 build coming up. It's gonna be 600 horsepower. It's gonna be sick as shit. And we're gonna do a super cool video about it. Stay tuned. The difference. Coming to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Four to six days later. What is that? EDM dubstep house music intro. Alright, how's it going guys? Back again for another episode of Eurofit Builds and on today's episode we're actually here at Eurofit Johns Creek because we're checking in on the beginning of an S3 build. And it's not just a normal downpipe in a tune, we're doing a full on engine rebuild, big turbo, that's looking to shoot some pretty big power. So let's go check with Seth and see what we have going on in the shop today. Woo. What's going on, Seth? We're back here again at your store, Johns Creek. Yes, sir. And you have another build for us because it seems it seems, it seems like an engine exploded. A big old build. <laughs> so why don't you tell me a little bit about what we have going on right here? Um, going on with this S3. So we got a 2019 S3, um, turbo blue. Let's show you that. Actually, real yeah. Quick. So this is what happened. It was a Sage 2 car, right? Sage 2. IS38 Turbo Blue, because they have some problems. Basically, let's just let's just show you what happened. So inside, if you take a little peek, that's not good. Yeah, that's that's not good at all. Um, and then that's this is actually. And then so what happened when that happened? This went from here right down there. It just went. Poof. Actually, yeah, when, when they were taking it apart, the um, it was in the downpipe. <laughs> yeah, Chase could see it uh, shaking out of the downpipe. Yeah. So, so, so all right. So, turbo blue, tur the turbo blue, um, and then the customer brought it over to you like, hey, yeah. I don't want her to replace the IS38. We're going bigger. Well, it started with let's just replace the IS38, but then it's like, we don't want this to happen again. What do we do? Okay, let's go hybrid IS38. Okay, let's go with you know some EQT turbo. Let's go with a Garrett turbo. And then we finally went with, um, we had a, uh, we, the customer bought a turbo kit from Pag Parts, which is a Garrett G3770 turbo with all the, the exhaust manifold and all the hardware just bolted right on. So it's pretty much just a bolt on, no fabrication or anything. It has all the oil lines, coolant lines, everything. How much power easy. is it? So that is- It's expected to it, make. It can make 700, oh. I think. But we're going to be making around 600 starting and then probably go up a little bit from there. Okay. So um, right now we're, we're basically doing all the supporting mods for like 700 horsepower and then tuning for 600 just so we're within the limits. Right. Okay. So yeah, so let's go over what supporting mods you actually need more than just a big old fancy turbo. Yeah. Uh, so right here I see you have an upgraded fuel rail. Yes. So, so we went with the Precision Racing or Precision, precision Race Works uh, yeah. fuel yeah. rail. Um, it looks yeah. sick, and it, it pretty much goes right in. There's a little bit of drilling involved, mm -hmm. but I mean, it, the basically the the intake manifold already has these slots ready to pop in the new fuel rail, yeah. um, and so it's actually I think we're getting they're like 1,300 cc injectors. Okay, that's or that's something. Substantial. That's substantial. So, Plenty of fuel, Will it be, like a lot. Is it gonna be on E85? No, not yet. We're so doing nine. We're 600 doing, on gas. On 93. That's 600 on 93. Um, but we don't have a an E like a flex fuel sensor yet. We 
I mean, yeah. he doesn't want to do it yet, but yeah. we can just like pop it in real quick and then boom, it's ready for E85. Nice. So. Well, no, this is a beautiful piece because I know definitely when you're doing a big, a big turbo build, you definitely have to have a plenty of fuel a lot flow. Of fuel. A lot of fuel. Obviously, you need you need boom, you need fuel. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. And now I see so the full engine torn apart yeah. because we're doing actually full internals, correct? Everything, yeah. 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 So I, I saw right here actually with the uh, we have the pistons as kind of a comparison of what. So what pistons are we running on, on, on the motor? Uh, okay. They're Molly pistons, correct? Okay. Yeah, Molly pistons. Okay. Uh, integrated engineering rods. Pistons, rods, rods. <laughs> um, that's kind of what's recommended with, on IE to do. Um, no. It's it's just like the go-to, you know. And I gotta say, like um, these rods, oh my! When compared, because you can see actually right here next to the stock rods, how much? Yeah, those are some thick boys. Oh yeah. Extra thick. I mean, when you're running the kind of what? Kind, how, how much boost is that turbo expected to put down at least? I don't know. Okay. I do not know. <laughs> we'll leave that. We'll leave it up to the tuner. We'll, yeah, we'll let yeah, you guys know that's after, up to the tuner. After the tuner gets that sorted, but um. We're, so we're doing Basically, everything. We're doing everything, so we're building for a lot of power and going a little bit under just so we make sure that we can have a reliable car because this, yeah. this is this is daily. And at the end of the day, six hundred horsepower in an S three is it's stupid. A it's a lot stupid. But uh, yeah, so so th those are the internals. I know we actually have a full beautiful table of a bit more of the rest of the parts. I know we're still waiting on the turbo. The turbo's in here yet. Turbo's correct? gonna be here today. Dude, look at that thing. Yeah. Oh, so, nice. Um, we also have SSP clutches. Nice. Um, there's, let's go check it out. Three, yeah. let's, let's go, let's go check over it, the table and check it out. Um, go into this toy. That PSG. All right, so that's what So walk me through what we got here. So we already went over the yeah. the IE I, I, I rods. Molly pistons. Uh, these are the SSP clutches. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. why would I need to do SSP clutches on this launch control? Drill? Launch control. <laughs> yeah, that's the next weak point. So it was like we were doing these, these. Um, we had valve springs. We were doing everything else except for the transmission. So the transmission was like the next weak point. Yeah. So we're like, let's just do the transmission. So typically, if, if you just like that's it, if we're you're done. going into, into this realm of power, it's it's highly recommended to do. Yeah, your exactly. Okay. If you're building the engine this much, we already have the engine torn apart. Let's just do the transmission at the same time. Um, yeah, we have upgraded valves. We have the retainers. And... <laughs> Making some noise over there. <laughs> hey. 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 Um, <laughs> All right, the, so, the, um, so going forward, so this is the fuel system. Yeah, correct? the MPI, these are all the lines. The MPI actually came with stage four fuel pumps. Okay, um, dual pumps. Yeah, so those are going dropped in. We also got the PM4 control module. Nice. Because if you run a certain amount of fuel, it actually starts to burn up the original the OEM control module. Mm -hmm. So you need yeah, this thing is to handle that. For module, this is actually a very beefy of a unit. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> this oh, thing's a boy. unit. Um, but um, all right, nice. And then they have this big old secondary uh, fuel pump as well. Um, all right, so that's the fuel system. So this thing is gonna get plenty of fuel to put. So, so much fuel. So yeah. and so then really we have good. some BFI engine mounts, pretty big beefy yes. boys as well. It seems like everything on this car is gonna be bigger and beefier. Yeah. And Again, it was like the engine's out. Let's just do everything that we can yeah. and throw it back in. Um, we're going with Forea mm -hmm. and Stop Tech. No, Stop Tech. Super Tech. Stop Tech. Stop Tech. Stop, stop tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's the Forea and the Super Tech valves. Okay. Um, we were, we could have done Super Tech totally or yeah. Forea totally, but they weren't in stock. So we have, I think. Super Tech in, or intake valves and for a exhaust valves. Okay. Um, and then a gasket, right. and then we have a box somewhere. There we go. Ooh, more stuff. Ooh. With all the goody goodies. This all is the, not the fault though. All the small little like bolts and timing chain guide rails. So we are we are retiming the engine. Yeah. Okay. We're we're just doing everything. Yeah. Um, there isn't an upgraded water pump for this engine. But we we looked into seeing if there was. Yes, we looked into seeing if there was because you know it's Volkswagen. Yeah, awesome. No, like this is we're, we're, essentially we're building a 
brand new 600 yeah. horsepower 2OT. Yeah. For us. That's awesome. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Dude. All right. I'm kinda well, jealous. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, so Seth, Seth has, a, has an IS-38 powered um, Mark 7. Mark 7. And this is basically your setup on steroids. So It's my setup on steroids with all-wheel drive. <laughs> on steroids and TRT. And, yeah. <laughs> and you got a Miltec exhaust, which nice. is like basically straight pipe. Oh yeah, so what other mods have been done to this car? Just oh, cool. to see, because it, it looks like it's, it's, it's going to be more than just a, a so, fancy motor. Yeah, he's got like um, APR carbon fiber intake. He's got literally every single charge pipe and pipe tubing you can ask for yeah. in the intake system. Uh, he's got an APR stock replacement intercooler. Basically, um, like most of the APR else? catalog was thrown at this car. Yes. Essentially. Okay. Yes. The, every classic thing that you can do to a stage two MQB has been done. Yeah, sway that's... bars, lowering springs. Yeah. Um, APR sway bars, APR springs, downpipe exhaust. Yeah, I mean, and again, great. this Miltec exhaust sounds so much different from my car, and it's awesome. I, I really like it, but it wouldn't fit on my car. No, it's sad. It's okay. But you can get it on the golf bars. It sounds really good. It sounds like a race car. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have to throw it this. It's going to sound insane. So um, I'm going to let your guy, you guys get back to it just because you definitely have a lot of work on your hands coming up yes. for you and Trace. So <laughs> Poor Trace. <laughs> well, that's why we paying the big bucks. <laughs> yeah, he gets the big bucks. All right, Seth. So, well, I'm very excited for this thing. This thing is awesome. I can't wait for his. Can't wait to come back here once all up and running. We can kind of see exactly just how much of a beast this 600 horsepower car is. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna let you get back to it. Um, and as far as for you guys, let us know down below uh, what you guys think of the build, uh, what you're excited for. Um, but until then, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Dude! God! <laughs> Is, is we're like right here or like right here? Uh, right there. Right here? A little bit higher. Right there. Okay. Uh, a little bit lower. Like right here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the forged reinforced rods and regular Ooh, ones. What's going on? I don't like cameras in my face. That's just, I just smile like a dork. Right. <laughs> hey, you might be wondering, why is Jeff holding the shot so long? I don't know either. But we'll figure it out eventually. Also, do your do your crank ups, people. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, thank you, Seth, for again. And <laughs> until then, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you see have you builds, huh? bring them in. Or also interrupt me yeah. when I'm just trying to end the video and go. No, I don't want this video to end. You guys want to stay here and just watch this be built. All right, I'm recording. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. should do my March 7th. Stage 2. Ice 38. Front mount intercooler. Ooh. It looks cool. Got a little intercooler there, little, huh? Shit. <laughs> got a little, yeah. little Sometimes it makes it. Got, got a little bigger turbo there, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a big turbo. Yeah, you're a race car guy around. Yeah, yeah, yeah fast car. Yeah, I got the oh. little insert for the. the oh, oh, you yeah. have a little insert? Like an insert for the engine mount, so it's oh, like. Oh, it's, it's, it's got a race dog car. bone mount. Yeah. Oh. What's up? Yeah. You're a real tuner car, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>